Don't you just hate it when you come back from holiday and you find that your plants have used all the water, they're drooping and your soil in the pots have gone so dry. When you try and water them, all the water pours out of the bottom of the pot. So it doesn't hold any moisture at all. There we go, straight through the soil because it's bone dry. Well, we can overcome that by making a reservoir to grow your herbs or your flowers in from old plastic bottles. And I'm going to show you just how to do that now. Good morning, this is Stephen and today I want to bring you a money saving tip which also is very useful for your plants and um, it's going to be a self watering system uh, which doesn't overwater your plants and looks after them while you're away for a few days sometimes up to a week you know what it's like when you come back from holiday and your plants are a bit dry and droopy you pour some water into water them and the soil is so dry it all pours through the pot and all over your windowsill get rid of that problem um, so I'm going to show you how to make a self watering system from old bottles now I'm happy to use just five litre bottles from Morrison's uh, my son gave me these the other day for miniature cloches I use on my raised bed but I thought there must be another use I can find for these I've done it with two litre bottles as well that's fine and smaller 600 ml bottles um, for smaller plants so all you'll need really is a bottle size of your choice and um, a small utility knife the sharper the better but be careful um, don't use a drill, that's very dangerous. Use a bradle with a very sharp point if you can. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some tubing, some soil, and of course a plant. Now I usually do this with my herbs, um, but the herbs, as it's now into late autumn, um, are not really coming in until next spring so I'm going to do it with some flowers ready for Christmas and they'll look after themselves quite easily so the first thing you need to do is to make holes in the lid so one in the center and just a few holes round you can see how easy it is when you've got a really sharp brad oil I've seen people try and do this sort of thing with drills and they just skid off and they're dangerous. See there's the holes at the top. You'll also need a few just around the neck and this one's quite a thick neck so um, I'm going to do it just below that thick bit. You'll find it's better to make the holes now than later when you've cut it because the bottle tends to collapse so easily and almost there yep there's a few holes around the neck now that when it's cut off is going to be um, where the plant can suck up the water through capillary reaction to keep the soil damp so instead of watering from the top, you water the plants from the bottom. Although you can add a bit to the top if you like. So the next thing you need to do is to cut the top off. Um, you can see on this one in particular, most bottles have got lines, but you can see on this one in particular, there are lines around it. And I think the one I want is probably going to be this line here. So I'll cut that carefully, just following the line. Again, make sure your knife is sharp because a blunt knife is actually more dangerous than a sharp one because you're applying more pressure and you're likely to slip. There you go, that's nice and easy. Um, you can take that down a little bit more because it's a bit tall, so I'll take that off there. You don't want it to be too tall with it's top heavy. Let's got rid of that. That's probably 
about right now and that is going to fit in there now you'll see that that actually won't fit in there very well and that is a bit too deep anyway so what I'm now going to do is just trim a little bit of this off as well so we've taken a piece off then a piece off in other words we've just taken a piece out of the middle so just take another piece off here there you go see that's a bit of a rough cut but that's okay and just put little tiny slits in the corners to enable it to fold in on itself so that will push to the bottom there which I'll do in a moment um, but there is something else we need in here and that is somewhere in one of the corners you put a little three-sided um, cut it's like um, a hatch if you like so let's put a hatch there one two three sides cut and you can now see okay now what's that for well I'll show you put this away now we are going to put a piece of tubing in it now I've already cut the tubing with the scissors to the right length and you're going to put that in there like that and then put this into the bottom right so there we are you now have the lid upside down it's the right height you have the three-sided trapdoor with the tube stuck in the tubes going in through to the bottom that's the water chamber there and then you just need to put a little bit of soil in there soil you need depends on the size of your plant this one is a lovely cyclamen that should be perfect for Christmas and that goes in there and you need to fill the soil up just around the outside so I'll do that now and I'll come back to you right I've now filled it up to the top if you can see in here with soil so that's how it looks. Can you see that? And the lid there will now be the with the holes will allow the capillary reaction for the soil to keep damp and to look after the plant washer away. Um, what I didn't mention is when you put the soil in, make sure the soil is already damp. It's a good quality compost to feed the plant, but make sure it's damp. If you put dry soil in, it will just suck it all up, which is a waste of time. So make sure it's damp first. Now we're going to fill this chamber up now with, with water. And in this water I've also got some feed to give it a good start. Now you can see here the pipe is camouflaged. You can just see it peeping through. And on that pipe, a funnel. And they're just going to fill the reservoir up with enough water to last it between 7 and 14 days. Now, as I said, there is liquid feed in this water as well. And it's a good idea to use warm, not hot, and certainly not cold water. If you haven't got a piece of pipe like this, you can use, especially if you're using a smaller bottle. Um, 600 mil up to a litre or about that you can use a drinking straw you can get quite wide drinking straws and you can fill your reservoir up that way see that's filling up nicely now you don't have to put an overflow hole at the bottom here but if you do 
then make sure you stand the self-watering container on a saucer. Well there you go, take this out of the tube. You can see that took probably over a litre of water. So in there you now have your reservoir at the bottom and that's going to feed your herbs or your flowers whilst you're away on a conservatory windowsill. You can, if you want, either use a decorative tape to go around the bottle. You can spray paint it just to camouflage the bottle. Just leave the labels on it. It doesn't really matter. It'll paint over those. Um, but I think that's quite an attractive piece as well, depending what you're going to do with it. Um, and the plants will be fine now between 7 and 14 days while you're away. Just top it up again and it'll last you all through your holidays and of course in the summer when they drink more you'll still get at least five to seven days out of that reservoir. So that's my thrift tip for the day and it gives you a chance to look after your flowers when you're not able to. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll be back with you soon.